Hey guys, we are uh, doing another beginner guide video here today because everybody loves the beginner's guide videos. So... This one's going to be on shops. So this is going to be beginner's guide to shops. A lot of people have asked me about this. A lot of people have asked for a beginner's guide to farming, like what you should do, where, and whatever. So I think it's going to be probably a series of those because it would be a pretty long video if I was just like... Okay, here's what you farm from the shops, from the nodes, from the this, from the that. And it just, I think that would take a long time. And I'd rather break it up into multiple videos so that it can be more clear and concise and not like a 30 minute long video. Because let's be honest, who wants to sit down and watch a 30 minute long YouTube video? Not me. But I will happily watch a 10 to 15. I will happily watch multiple 10 to 15 minute videos. I imagine that most people are that way. Maybe you're not, but I'm that way. So... Today, we got the big old patch and everything. It's pretty exciting. Uh, we'll probably have a video out about that another time, tomorrow, later. I'm really excited about the AIM team. I'm excited to talk about them, best setups for them. That's gonna be something we're definitely gonna be diving into, just not today. So this is gonna be the beginner's guide to shops. So you have the main store, right? Here we are, main store. You've got this orange gear. You've got purple gear. You've got characters you can buy for cores. Just a uh, spoiler alert never buy these you got more purple gear more purple gear blue gear green gear I'm actually gonna buy this because I need it thank you very much and so you come in here and you say this can kind of be a little overwhelming you don't really know what you need to do here like I said never buy this never buy those they're not worth it in any world never buy those the only t i've one time one single time have i bought from this and it is when i needed four more black widow shards to get her to seven star and so i bought it from here that is the only time i've ever bought those never do that here it's kind of hard right because there's certain gear that's hard to find so this is pretty used pretty commonly i always try to buy those this is kind of hard to f it's not hard to find but it's like pretty valuable for mutants and stuff that's probably not going to be a really big deal to you guys as beginners these were really good. I would recommend buying these because they're good for shield or they're used for shield and uh, some defenders or at least Daredevil and Punisher. And so you want to have these uh, and Jessica Jones, I didn't even realize. Um, but you want to have these because they're, I mean, you have to use them for those characters. You're going to be tearing up those characters. I think those are important to have. It's kind of hard to know. I mean, essentially, you can just click on it and look at it. You know what I mean? I mean, you can see what characters need what. That's not hard. But uh, things I definitely don't recommend buying. You don't need to buy these things. Uh, these come in the raid orbs. I don't really ever recommend buying the ones that are like uh, the purple unique gears. I don't ever really recommend buying those. They're like this. like Because you get them out of the, the raid orbs. I've never really bought those. And that's where I've always gotten them from. When it comes to the orange gear, it's a bit more complicated. Because you will need this stuff. But I don't think I've ever bought it out of this store. I just used what I got from Enter the Darkness and then now from Raid Orbs. I think the only thing I'll buy from here is if there's Uniques. Now you guys might not be familiar with those. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll refresh the store just to see if any Uniques can pop up. Whoa, what the heck? I have no idea what this is. Actually, this must have come with a new update. So we're going to buy it. But I assume that this is Gear 14 stuff. And so, essentially... Well, we didn't get any new uniques this time. Let's check the rest of the shop. Okay, I always buy these because they're very, they're often used because they're tech. I'm buying these because bio characters are getting big now. I think bio, just side note, bio characters are going to be like the next big crunch, I think. Because Fantastic Four used that. So I think that's going to be the next big crunch. That's just your hearty tip from Combs for the day. I have a lot of tips mixed in with this video. All right, we'll refresh one more time. All right, cool. So here's a unique item, right? So this is a unique, this is what you need to get to tier 13. I always buy these. I buy them every time. See, I don't even have any characters who can use this, but I buy it every time. So now when I have a character that is ready to go up and uses this, they could go right up. I don't have to wait and sit and farm and look for these like I had to before. Now, if you're buying these as you go up, you will be able to take most of your characters up at the time when you're ready to actually do fear the darkness that's what they're used for because fear the darkness characters can you can't do fear the darkness without tier 13 characters so i recommend buying these if you're on a gold crunch then maybe specifically look for 
what you need. There's uh, plenty of graphics. If you are looking for one specifically, please join my Discord. I have a really good one that is from uh, Chewburger. It's awesome. I look at it on my phone actually pretty regularly when I'm buying stuff from the shops. So uh, make sure to join Discord. The link is in the description below and we can help you out with that. But for now, I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy this, buy this. And I have no idea what this is, but my boy Carnage needs it, so we need it. We'll buy that, uh, we'll buy these because they're good. And now you might be saying, well, Combs, I can't afford all this stuff. And that's fine, guys. I haven't always been able to afford all this stuff. Um, I've been saving for a long time to even have the amount that I have now. So you might not have all this. Maybe you can't buy all this. You can't refresh the store. Well, I mean, just figure out what you need. If you want to say you want to start buying the unique gears for your characters, you want to buy the Superior Carbodinium. I didn't say that right, but I don't care. For Star-Lord to do Fear the Darkness, then okay. Then just make sure that you have at least 72,000 gold on you at all times so that if it comes through the store, you can purchase it. Then that way, when you have enough gear to get him to tier 13, you're gonna be ready to go. That's pretty much essentially this shop. It's pretty straightforward and easy. Let's switch to the next one. The Blitz store. We briefly touched on this in the Blitz video, but the way that I'm gonna recommend for you guys to do this is you start with Luke Cage. That's gonna be the first character you farm out of this store. You're gonna to wanna to take him to five star. Eventually, maybe six star, because then you can use them for Enter the Darkness. That'll be another video for another time. We're gonna cover everything Enter the Darkness beginner's guide uh, a little later, maybe this week, maybe next week. So the first character you wanna do is Luke Cage, 100% Luke Cage. You know, it kinda of depends from there. This is all my opinion. If you disagree with it, we can talk about it in the comments, but by no means is this gospel. It's just my opinion. You'll already have Crossbones unlocked, so you can farm him up to five star if you want to. He's decent for Arena in the beginning of the game. But the next character that I recommend is either Gamora or Mantis, simply because they're decent characters in the beginning of the game. But uh, Mantis is better for a healer. Gamora is better for damage dealing, but ultimately they get you closer to unlocking Star-Lord. Star-Lord is an amazing legendary. And he likely won't be your first legendary that you unlock, but he should definitely be your second that you unlock. Spider-Man is really good. Miles is really good. Rhino is really good. They can all be used for Shuri and Rhino can be used for Invisible Woman. Aim Monstrosity is actually a much better character now that the rework has happened. Hydro Rifle Trooper is useless. Hydro Scientist is useless. Mercenary Riot Guard is not bad. He's used for the Payday event and he's really not a bad early tank. You might unlock a lot of these characters from orbs. And so that'll be a whole different story on who to invest in. But he's a very decent character. I actually liked him a lot in the beginning of the game. Kree Royal Guard. He used to be really good back in the beta. He's not really that good anymore. Um, but he's pretty good with a Kree team. He's not good on his own. He used to be good on his own. But you need him for Nick Fury. I definitely recommend farming him after you get like Luke Cage up to five star and then Gamora and Mantis, get them to five star. And then Kree Royal Guard, I think is really the next one that you wanna do. That way you're kind of like, even if you just have five star Star-Lord, it'd be better to have five star Star-Lord, five star Nick Fury than to have seven star Star-Lord and no Nick Fury or vice versa. Seven star Nick Fury, no Star-Lord. That's what I recommend from there. That's the Blitz store. Ravager Boomer can be used for Star-Lord as well, but he is overly useless after that point. So it's a little bit easier to use uh, the other characters, the other Guardians characters that make up the whole team for that. We can dive more into that. We can do a beginner's guide on legendaries, legendary farming if you guys want to do that too. That's something I've been thinking a lot about doing. All right, so the raid store, you have rotating characters here, right? So really a lot of what it's going to depend on is what you want to do. Kree Oracle is used in here for, you know, Nick Fury. Hand Sentry used to be very good, not as good anymore, but used to be really good. And uh, he can be used for the Relic Hunt event. Ronin is pretty good. He cannot be used for Nick Fury. Don't confuse that. He cannot, it's only minions. So Ronin is really good, but that's just for building a Kree team, which is really this kind of at your stage in the game is just kind of more of a luxury. I don't think you should worry about Ronin right now. There's gear in here that you can buy. I typically only recommend buying really hard to get gear like ABCs, which are the advanced basic catalysts, which every character needs. I buy those. And then similar to the main store, I just buy like rare or hard to find gear. I never buy these orbs. A lot of people recommend buying the raid orbs. 
I don't personally think that that's a very good idea. I have never had luck with that. I feel like I just get characters that I don't want or need. That's up to you if you want more control over it. I, I guess I'm a bit more of a control freak over this stuff because I just don't want RNG to have its little crooked fingers on my farming. But if you feel comfortable enough, this is a better value. You just don't get to pick what you pick. Never buy these orbs for currency though. Don't do that, that's not good. That's a waste. But I guess occasionally you could buy this. The Blitz Store has an orb. Occasionally buy it. I would say probably, I don't know, maybe two or three times a week, at least in the beginning, unless you're going crazy on Blitz because you do get money from it and money obviously comes in, comes really in handy later on. So I don't recommend buying it every time. I mean, you could, instead of spending on the currency, you could just buy these, but you're not gonna have any control. Once again, it's a better value, plus you get gold, but there's no control. I do need to touch on this this war stuff. We did briefly touch on it, which is why I didn't talk about it in the beginning. Uh, I really don't recommend going crazy on this stuff in the beginning of the game. I really don't think that you should. I honestly think that you should completely pass over it in the beginning of the game. That's my opinion. Not everyone's gonna agree with that one, but it's my opinion that you don't need to buy these in the beginning of the game because this will seriously stunt your growth. All right, so we come to the arena store. And you might be wondering, well, who do I farm from here? Okay, Daredevil, first of all. Daredevil, up to five star. Then, probably the next one that I would say is Drax, up to five star, because then you can get uh, Star-Lord with them. Then, from there, it's kind of like a mishmash, right? So, Quake used to be really strong. Maybe you want to unlock her, just so you can use her for a Blitz team or something. Shield Security is very strong with Nick Fury, so you'll want him eventually, but he's not a huge rush. Aim Researcher is a lot better now that uh, Aim is reworked, so she can be in that team, but that's again more of a luxury. Hand Archer is used for the Relic Hunt event. Hydra Armor Guard, pfft, sucks, don't buy him. Mordo, he's pretty strong, I like him overall. He's used to unlock Phoenix. I think he's strong, but I also have six red stars on him, but he's a lot of fun. He's a very fun character. He can be paired with Scarlet Witch and they do some good combos together, but at the end of the day, they're just kind of like okay characters. Mordo's a little better than Scarlet Witch, but they're just okay characters. Deadpool can be used for the Payday event with uh, just like the Mercenary Riot Guard. That's good. Daredevil's just fun. He can also be used in a Brawler's team that can be used for Blitz. Vulture uh, can be used for Shuri and Invisible Woman, plus makes up Sinister Six, which is a really awesome team. I really enjoy them. And Baku, you got him for, you know, the old Wakanda team. That's all he does right now, and Wakanda's not very good, so I don't really recommend him. Juggernaut is really good. He can be used for uh, Brotherhood, and he's just really strong. Um, I like him as a tank, he's really good, but you'll kind of have to decide what your priorities are when you're farming this stuff. But I recommend Daredevil first to five star, Drax to five star after that, and then from there on you take this information and you make the decision from there. In the war store, now this is a little harder. This one's a little bit harder because you might not be getting that much currency, because if you're not buying the boosts, you might not be getting that much. Luckily for you, there's really not, the only thing out of here, I think for a new player, what you should be farming, you really don't need to farm Carnage as a new player. I'm farming Carnage because I love Carnage. He's my favorite character. But I also have Pyro finished off in this store. Hydra Sniper, bleh. Mercenary Sniper, bleh. You don't need to worry about them. Carnage is, again, like a luxury for me. The person you should be farming out of here is Pyro. The gear, it's not a good value. I would not. I wouldn't do it. I would not buy gear out of this store unless it's like an absolute emergency. I would not do it out of this store. So looking back, this is uh, this is all the characters in the raid orbs. I meant to look at this earlier and I didn't. I apologize. Uh, the characters that are in here that are notable are uh, Killmonger, Mysterio, Rocket, Sabretooth, Shield Trooper, and War Machine. It's just kind of hard. You have to decide what you're going to do. Rocket, again, is going to be used for Star-Lord, so I recommend getting him. It's kind of like you really just want to bounce from Cree Oracle to Rocket to Sabretooth because then that way you can use Rocket for Star-Lord, Sabretooth for Magneto, Cree Oracle for Nick Fury. Mysterio eventually, but I wouldn't stress about it. Shield Trooper, I believe, has a node or at least used to. And so I wouldn't recommend that. War Machine's gonna be for power armor, but you're gonna have to get Iron Man first and that's gonna use shield characters. You'll get that one. That one kind of just happens over time. I don't really stress about Iron Man cause he's like power armor is like good, but it just kind of comes naturally as you farm the other ones. Now you also have an orb for 
arena never buy this it's horrible it's a terrible value nothing good really comes from here you just get like not good stuff like kingpin shards one you can get like one kingpin shard it's not worth it at all knit just simply put never buy this the orbs here what i always do i mean the purple one is not bad i've never bought a blue one the purple one is not bad you can get a lot of abcs you know advanced basic catalyst you get a lot of them out of there but i typically always save for this as these are so much of a harder value to come by i think that this is the best to spend these yellow tickets on the elite war credits and in the elite red star shop we briefly touched on this and it's just kind of i don't know this is hard because it's really dependent on your roster really really dependent on your roster you should be buying characters who are going to last and be good because this currency is pretty hard to come by at least in large quantities so i mean it doesn't really matter if you buy like one and two stars for characters that doesn't really cost that much but you have to be careful when it gets beyond that because they do get costly now the orbs here are interesting you can save up these credits and that's nice we talked about this in the red star video so i'm not going to really go too in depth on it but i do recommend being very careful with the way that you spend this stuff that's just it's important it's hard to come by so you don't want to go too crazy with it because otherwise you're going to end up wasting it and not be able to get any more so just be thoughtful about this like i said uh the red star guide video we talk a lot more about this and you can see it from on your own from there so guys that's it that's a very basic overview of the shops i hope that this helps at least gives you some general direction until you're able to learn the game a bit more and so you're going to be starting off on a solid foot that's my opinion that's my thoughts i hope that they help I'd love to hear yours in the comments below, maybe your experiences, what you think. If this helped you, leave a like on this video if it helped you. And make sure to subscribe because I love you and I want your subs. Okay, that's all. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Um, if you need anything, please join the Discord or leave comments. I would, happy, I would be more than happy to help you. That's, uh, that's why I created this channel was to help people out. So let me know. Appreciate you guys. Talk to you soon. All right. See you.